So synonyms are words that mean the same or almost the same as each other in a particular language. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for example, hungry and famished mean the same thing or they mean almost the same thing. Like I mentioned before, we can talk about begin and start or commence. So those words are synonyms. So this particular exercise asks us to pick, uh, pick out the words from the box above that can replace the underlying words in the uh, question. Okay. The major thing is the the number one sentence says, "I was digging, I was digging in the dirt when my mom called me for lunch," and the underlying word there is the dirt. Okay. Hello, Ken. Do you want to ask a question? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the um, question? Yeah, what's the question? Uh, what is the answer for what is the answer for number eight? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going to we'll get to number eight, okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yeah, we'll get to number so when we get to number eight, we'll get to the questions, then we're gonna look at everything together, okay? So as I was explaining. The first one, the word on the line there is dirt. Number one says dirt. Dirt means maybe something related to the ground. So the word that we use to replace dirt. Like soil? Yes, yes, soil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Soil. So the second one, um, Mary jumped across the cold and sparkling stream. Yeah, jumped is the word, but if we look at all of this word, though we have used soil, we have used soil. So if we look at all of these words, we, so let's clean up the ones that we have used. We have brushed, we are grasped, true, released, mastered, steered, disagreed, wrote, leaped, acquired. So jumped doesn't really have a word that means somebody jumping. But we can talk about when you jump from one spot to another, but because it says stream now, talking about stream, probably like whirling as if you're dancing, okay? So the word we can use for that jump or maybe glide you know jump the word that's closer to that in this is where to whirl around you know to twist around and cover some distances you know within a few seconds so the word here is word w i r l h -E d and number three, number three, Rob drove his truck to school. Fikayo, are you there? Okay, I can see you now. Rob drove his truck to school, fine. The word on the line there is drove, drove. So when you're talking about, yeah, let's look at the words, you know, the one that can mean the same thing as drove among all of the word. So this one says steered. Again, we have used um, weird, so we have to erase that. So steered, like to steer something, to drive something, so we can say steered. S-T-E-E-R-E-D. So the word we're picking here is steered. Then the next one, number four, says Noah, Noah argued with his brothers. Noah argued with his brothers. So that you can look at the word 
that's going to mean the same as argue. And it's, it's in the past tense, argued. So, argued. The word that goes with that here is disagreed. Okay, disagreed. This agreed. Then, okay, we have to write it here as disagreed. This agreed. Then, number five says, Mike groomed his dog. Mike groomed his dog. Okay, we have used drove, so I have to clean drove. Now, groomed. Groomed can be to train something, you know. So it's not true, it's not brushed, it's not grasped. It's not a release leave, so we could use mastered, okay? Excuse me. So we can use what? Mastered. M A S T E R E D. Mastered. So. Okay. Yeah. Mastered. Then the next one said, Ben drove his wheelchair down the street. Draw his wheelchair down the street. Yeah, the same word can be used, but let's go to the next one. For now. The same word that we use for draw, which is tiered, can be used for that. So let's go to the next one first. Number seven, Mark dropped his book bag. Mark dropped. Well, dropped who mean to you know throw something down or something but that's or to release something isabel danced to the swan lake danced also could mean swear uh weird you know because there is no word that mean dance here again but let's continue to the next one then um jonah aced his exam this also, the aced could mean mastered his exams, you know, because none of these remaining words actually, okay, mastered, we have used mastered, but I'm taking a pause on that. Now, Gage tossed the fo football, yeah, tossed mean throw, so let's go for number 10 for now, then we'll go back to the remaining ones. So, toss. There, the word we can use for that is true. True. So, then we now come back to the words that we want to repeat. Um, are you there? I can see you there, Victoria. Then, the next one that we're looking at is Vicky bought the house. Yeah, bought. The word here is bought and that's acquired. The word in the box is okay. Ah, Fikaya, me, are you there? But let's um, acquire it. So the word we're going to use there is acquire. Sorry. Okay. Acquire. Sorry. All right, no problem. So math grabbed. Her hand. Well, we don't know whose hand, but map Matt grabbed her hand. So grabbed could be to grasp something. Uh, grasp. So let's say grasp. Um, okay, grabbed. I'm coming. Okay, you want to do something? Yes. Like what? Okay, do quick. Okay. Grabbed. Grabbed. So I the grasp. My background. Yeah, I know. I can see. It. So grabbed her hand. The, the word for grab here, you say grasped. Okay. Grasped. Okay. Yeah, so let me see. 
grasped. Um, now, going back to the ones we are yet to do, then I found another word here that could go for jump. So we can use leaped for that jump, okay? Is that clear? Yes, sir. So that means this is going to be um, leaped instead of weird, you know, swearing, swelling around or something. So let me change that to leaped. So now, talking about drove is wheelchair, you can use stared, okay? Stared. Uh, then talking about dropped, we can also use release, okay? Released. Okay. Then talking about danced, we can use where, where. Also talking about haste, we can use mastered, mastered. Okay, brushed can be used for the dog. If we're talking about maybe cleaning the dog. Oh, instead of saying training the dog. Is that clear? Yes. So, for that dog that say groomed, mastered the dog or trained the dog, then we can also take it in another way and say brushed the dog. Maybe talking about uh, cleaning. Then road. I don't see any I'm one. I'm sitting on the earth. Mm. <laughs> Okay, are you sure you're concentrating? So, yes, I'm sitting on the earth. Okay, so I don't see um, any word there that okay, street. I can see street. Ben drove. Okay, it's street, not drove. That was on the line. That's why street is gonna go for um, road. Okay. So, and um, this is the correction to the work. We're going to uh, move on to mathematics, but look into your work and correct anyone that you need to correct, okay? Okay. Brushed for this instead of mastered, since we have used mastered for the exam. So, this becomes brushed. Groomed, I said we can brush. Brushed. So I'm waiting for you to put down your. When you're through with the correction, you let me know, okay? Okay. Yeah. But I already did everything. So when they ask you to order any set of given fractions, there are not some things you gotta consider. Ordering of fractions. Okay. Let's say they ask you to Teacher, can arrange. I go get a can I go get a snack? Snack? Okay, do quick. Just in yes. th thirty seconds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So arrange the fractions okay in ascending order. I think I said a little lunch break. He said he gave me thirty seconds. No, it's not yet. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Got it. Are you back? I now? got my snack. 
Okay, okay, no problem. So I want you to actually listen, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the fractions we want to look at, let's say we have something like yeah. number one. Yes, ma'am. Number one, let's say we have something like three over four, comma, two over six, comma, one over two, five over eighteen, and four over nine. Hmm. Can you see all of these fractions? Can you see them? Fikaya? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you see the fractions? Yes, I can see it. Okay. So we want to find out which one is the smallest and which one is the biggest so that we can line them up from the smallest to the biggest and that is the meaning of ascending order. Is that clear? Now, we're going to consider all of the denominators. We have 4, 6, 2, 18, and 9. We're going to check the biggest one. Can 4 divide 18? The answer is no. The 4 cannot divide 18 perfectly well. So we can use 18 since at least one or more of the rest cannot divide 18 perfectly well. If it's for 2, 6, and 9, they can divide 18. Then let's go for another multiple of 18, which is 36. Can 4 divide 18? I mean 36. The answer is yes. So 36 is accurate for us to use. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And why is, why is 36 accurate? It's because all of them, 6, 2, 18, 9 and 4 can divide 36. So let's begin to check it out now. How many 4 is in 36? That is 9. 9 times 3 is going to give us 27. So 27 over 36 represents the first fraction. Is that clear? Is that clear, Fikaya? Yes, sir. Then the next one, 6 in 36. How many 6 in 36? That is 6. 6 times 2, that is above, gives us 12. So 12 over 36 represents 2 over 6. Then how many 2 in 36? That's 18. 18 times 1 above it gives us 18. So 18 over 36 stands for 1 over 2. And how many 18 is in 86? I mean, in 36, that's 2. 2 times 5 gives me 10. So 10 over 36 stands for eight, uh, 5 over 18. And the last one, how many 9 is in 36? That's 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 over 36 stands for 4 over 9. Are you following this, Vikayo? Yes, sir. Good. So out of all of these numbers written in white, Fikayo, which one is the smallest? Um out of, this all, one. out of all the numbers written in white, in white color, which one is the smallest? 27. Wait, the smallest, the smallest. Mm. And no in this one or the other one? No, the one written with white color. Which number is the smallest? Uh, 10. 10, good. And 10 stands for this fraction. So that means this fraction is the smallest. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Followed by which number? After 10, it should be which one? Mm. Six, twelve, twelve. Twelve, good. And which fraction stands for twelve? That's two over six, right? Yes. Sir. Because it's the second one. So two over six 
Then which one after 12? 16. So which fraction should I pick for 16? 4 over 9. Dude, are you following this? Now, which one after 16? 18. And which fraction? 1 over 2. Very good. Then which one after 18? 27. Which 3 is? over 4. Good. That means 3 over 4 is the biggest of the fractions, okay? Okay. So if they say arrange in ascending order, this is what they mean. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, very quickly, let me look at one more example before we round up. But I'm going to give you an assignment, okay? Okay. Good. Are you ready for that second example? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, we want to arrange some fractions also in descending order this time around okay arrange the fractions in descending order okay okay when they said ascending order we were arranging them from smallest to the biggest this time around we want to arrange from biggest to smallest. That's the meaning of descending order. So the fractions are 3 over 8, comma, 1 over 4, comma, 4 over 10, comma, 3 over 6, and 5 over 8. Now, like what I did before, we are supposed to check the biggest of the numbers and try to see what multiples of that biggest number can be useful for all of the remaining numbers at the denominator to divide that multiple. The biggest is 10, but 8, 4, 6, and the other 8 cannot divide 10 perfectly. So if we go for 20, it won't work. 30 won't work. 40 will work for 8, but and 4, it won't work for 6. 50 will not work. 60, uh, no, 70. Okay, 60 will work for 10, uh, 6, and 4, but not 8. So 70, no. So the number that's going to work is 120 if we keep going. So 120 is a common denominator. So how many 8 is in 120? If we divide 120 by 8, we're going to have 15, okay? Okay. So, and 15 times the 3 at the top is going to give us 45. Then the second one, if we divide 120 by 4, it's going to give us 30. So, 30 times the 1 at the top is 30. Then if we divide 120 by 10, it's going to give us... Okay. 12. So 12 times 4 above it, that's 48. If we divide 120 by 6, we divide 120 divided by 6, that gives us 20. 20 times 3 gives us 60. And the last one, 8 again, that's 15 times 5, that's 75. Now, which of the fractions should be in the biggest position? Uh, Kyle? Oh, I, I guess you're having, yeah. Huh? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Good. Which of the fractions, based on the, the numbers that we have arrived at, which of the fractions should be in the biggest position? Which of the fractions above should be in the biggest position? Um, Just check the biggest number. 60? Wait. Check. No, 60 is not the biggest number. 48. You can see the screen. Can you see this number? 
75. So which fraction does 75 stands for? Check the fractions above. Uh, That's 5 over 8. over 8. 5 over 8. Then which number, which number follows 75? That's 60, right? Yeah. So which, frac which fraction should go for that? Okay. Which fraction should go for 60? Since 60 is the one that follows 75, so which fraction should I write now? Yes, check this. Which fraction? Can you hear me, Fikaya? Yes, I can. Now, which fraction should I go for? I have picked 75 and it gave me this fraction. So 60 is the next. Which fraction should go for 60? Um, let's see. That should be 3 over 5. 3 over 6, okay? Okay. Because that's the number 4. So the next number is 48. Which fraction should go for 48? 4 over 10. Okay. The next one, after 48, the next number should be what? Uh, 45. 45. Which fraction should go for 45? 3 over 8. Good. Then the last one should be what? 31 over 4. Yes, 30, which is 1 over 4. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to give you assignment to do. Then I will send this note with the instruction that you have to copy the note. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay. Uh -huh. So. That's that's good. So we're going to meet on Thursday by the grace of God, okay? I mean on Wednesday, not Thursday, okay? Okay, Today's but it's two days away. Yeah, two days away. So the homework I want to send, you must make sure you do it. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, so bye for now. Bye.